Okay, so in our last video, we were talking about discrete random variables, and we were talking about how we can um, can write them out in terms of like a support and our probability mass function. So let's go back to our unique uh, dice, and we'll give it a shot. So what we do is write our little x as our support and the probability of our discrete random variable equaling a specific member of the support. So this is our probability mass function. Okay, and if you remember from our dice, it had three sides that had zero, a side that had a one, a side that had a two, and a side that had a three. So our options here were zero, one, two, and three. Now the associated probabilities for each of these, there was a 50%, oops, not a one-fifth, that is, give me a second, let me find a, there it is, much better, there we go, a 50% chance of being zero, one-sixth of one, one-sixth of two, and one-sixth of three which means that okay, we, every time we roll the dice, 50% chance of getting a zero, one out of six for one, one out of six for two, one out of six for three. All right, so that's known as our probability mass function. Now we can also include what's known as our cumulative distribution function. So this is x, the sort of discrete random variable, capital X, is going to be less than or equal to little x. And this is our cumulative distribution function. Or just shorthand, this will be our CDF. So since we're dealing with a discrete random variable, we must know that being we can be less than or equal to any specific value. So the probability of being less than or equal to zero is just one half. We can't get we can't have like negative um, a negative value on this dice, uh, but we could get a zero. Okay, so less than or equal to one is going to be well if we convert uh, one half that's also equal to three sixths. So this would be four sixths, which is we can simplify that down to two thirds if you want. And then this guy is going to be five sixths. And then this last one is going to be six sixths, which is equal to one. So on our CDF, the last value in your CDF will always equal one. Uh, you'll know you've done it right if the last one is, is one. Uh, so some other, some, some other concepts here is that our probability mass function, every single outcome must have an associated probability. It can be between anywhere between zero and one because any probability can be between zero and one inclusive. Uh, can't be more than one, can't be less than one in our PMF. Our support should be every value that actually is possible. Uh, so we've got zero through three. Now we could technically add in something like four, but on our specific dice here, the probability of rolling a four is zero. So I mean, we really wouldn't change anything there. And so we leave it off. So this is our, our discrete random variable. This is our kind of table of our support. Let me write that down again. This is our support. This is our probability mass function. This is our cumulative distribution function.